Hi, I'm Sean Banks with the Cooperative Extension Service. I'm a horticulture agent in Johnston County. I'm here today with Triangle Gardener Magazine and we're going to talk a little bit about how to identify conifers or cone bearing plants in the landscape. The first one I want to start with is the pine tree. It's the easiest one to identify because it starts off with bundles of needles. It's the only one of the conifers that has bundles. And what a bundle is, is a group of needles that are all bound together by what's called a bundle sheath. It's generally in groups of two to five. And you can tell the different conifers or the different pine trees by the number of needles it has in the bundle. Now we're gonna look at cedar trees in the genus Cedrus. And these trees have needles that are attached individually to the stems. Each needle is attached but most needles you'll find are attached in groups or bundles on short spurs, giving the appearance of puffy needles or puffy groups of needles. Then we're gonna go on to the next group. Here we are at a spruce tree. And the spruce trees, the good thing about them is the needles are individually attached, but if you look closely, they have four sides to them. And so you can tell these from any of the others because of the four sides on the needles. Another identifying feature is that the needles are spirally attached to the stem going around the stem. Now let's take a look at the fir tree. This is the fir tree. It's the last of the trees that have the needles. Again, the needles are individually attached. And if you take a close look, you can see that these ones are attached with what looks like a suction cup. And that's the best way to be able to tell that this is a fir tree and not a spruce or a pine. Since this is the last of the needle trees, let's go take a look at some of the, tr the plants that have awls and scales. Now we'll look at a group of conifers that have shorter needles, which are called awls. And what awls are is they're needles with the sharp point on them that are usually half an inch long or shorter. This particular plant here is a cryptomeria. As you can see, it has the shorter needles graduating into the larger needles, and the needles are attached directly to the stem, and the young stems on this plant are green. So we've got, this one is the cryptomeria. And let's go look at some of the other plants that have the all shaped needles. This plant here is a juniper. And with the junipers, they have both all type needles and scale type needles. Scales actually lay flat against the stem to where you can't have the, the prickly part sticking in your finger. So the awls point out, the scales lay flat. And with most junipers, the scale needles will be the mature section of the plant and the all type needles will be the juvenile part of the plant. Now let's go look at some of those other plants that have the scale type needles. Here we have the Camucyprus, a good example of a plant that has the scale type needles. With the scale type needles, they're in groups of two. Two on the top, two on the bottom, two on either side. What it is, is with the Camucyprus, these needles are formed in branches that are flattened. These flattened branches are a good way of telling that you have a Camucyprus instead of one of the other varieties of, of scale type needles. Let's go look at a, a Cupressus in another area of the Arboretum. This is the Cupressus or the Cypress. And with the Cypress, they have the scale type needles that we've been talking about. And if you get a close look at the, the scale type needles, they look very much like a braided rope. Two on one side, two on the other side. And so you have a, a rope type look to this, and this is the last of the scale type needles that we're going to look at today. As you can see from this short video that we've shot today, there are several different kinds of conifers to choose from when getting ready to do your landscaping. We hope that you'll take the time to come out to the J.C. Ralston Arboretum where we've been shooting today to take a look at these different species of conifers. Hopefully you'll be able to find something to put into your landscape as well. This is Sean Banks with the Johnston County Cooperative Extension Service working with the Triangle Gardener Magazine to show you some of the different conifers that you can put into your landscape.